Okay, so what I'm going to be continuing in this tutorial with is um, my character's head. Uh, so the next stage that I was on was just kind of creating this eyebrow area leading on to the, the forehead itself as well. So I'm going to sort of focus on just doing the forehead uh, for this particular uh, video and see how far I get. Um, so the first thing that we want to do is we want to kind of fill in this gap, you know, we've got a curve here and a curve there which is the symmetry on the other side but we want to kind of flatten that out a little bit because we want the edges to kind of go horizontally across the forehead, we don't want them to be in this kind of shape because uh, that's not a good uh, edge flow, it's not good flow lines so it is really important that you um, ensure that you you know, sort out your flow, your flow lines and you have them correctly placed. So I'm going to go into my um, edge tool just here and I'm going to select the three edges just across here, across the top of the nose. I'm going to hold shift, make sure I'm on the move tool of course. I'm going to drag those up to about the same level as uh, this corner just here. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, target weld that corner to that. So if I go to vertex, go to target weld and then click on this point here and click on that one to target weld it. And like I've mentioned before you just want to kind of space these lines out so they kind of equally change direction or should I say gradually change direction. I'm going to pull this up slightly as well so it kind of just creates a nice curve just there. What you want to be careful of of course is that you don't have, I mean if you look in the perspective view just here I've got this really kind of harsh corner just here. So I want to click on that vertice just there. And go in the top view and you can see there's a kind of radical change of angle just here. Just drag that down just to curve that off really nicely like that. What you also want to do is actually you want to start to flatten out this sort of top area because right now if you look the forehead's going to have a point at the front, isn't it, like this. So you want to kind of be really careful and make sure that you are, in fact, making the, that area flat enough. So you want to kind of pull out certain areas a little more. Maybe pull this one out slightly. And this one too. And in fact, we can pull in uh, this kind of top area just here, slightly. The reason being is um, it's because you know if you feel your your forehead and actually in between your eyebrows, uh, you know there's no point there, is it? It kind of goes in slightly, if anything. Well, it does on my head. Um, and if we kind of have a look on our reference image just here, again we can see a slight shading just there, so it tells us that you know there's a little bit of an indentation just there, really, really slightly. So you want to kind of select that point there and ensure that you kind of create that flat kind of indentation like that. Again, don't worry about being too precise at this stage because again, you know, we are just trying to map out the overall kind of shape. I'm worried about kind of the little details a little later on. my phone going off. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to kind of keep going up. I want to sort of start creating the forehead area and this area in particular we're not going to need a lot of polygons so I'm just going to select the polys just up to about here. So I've got the whole sort of top row selected and I'm going to shift and drag up. Uh, you want to be careful now that you don't have um so like I was saying it was um we just want to try and flatten this kind of edge out because we don't need it to be this shape anymore. We want it to kind of be uh, curved going across the forehead, following the curvature of the forehead itself. So I'm just going to pull it back slightly in this um, side view just like that. And again, like I've, you know, keep mentioning, you want to kind of create this um, change of angle like this. You don't want to be kind of too rigid with 
the edges and make them go straight all the time. Just like that. And if you remember, my neat little trick of flattening out an edge was to select the scale tool and kind of scale down and it will bring all those edges together until they're completely flat. I mean that's one thing you could do and then kind of curve it off a little bit. So if we go on the move tool now, we can actually just kind of pull these edges down slightly around the edges just here, just so it curves like so there we are kinda looks like a cool mask at the minute um, the next step is kind of going further up, I'm just gonna kind of go up and right the way to the top, you wanna make sure you, you're following the forehead, the shape of the forehead in this uh, in this view again this is quite a low poly uh, character that I'm creating at the moment so I'm not going to worry too much about being 100% accurate of course uh, you can of course do that uh, if you please so I mean with that being the forehead I just want to be careful because if we have a look that forehead kind of comes out way too much whereas it should kind of go in on this area so you may want to kind of pull this these edges in slightly like so maybe drag this down slightly as well that looks a little better again it will look really odd at this stage because you know I don't have um, like the areas on the side created and then again if I just kind of add a smoothing group on this area you'll get a better idea of what it will look like so again just a smoothing group on number one and you can see they've added that kind of forehead area it does look a bit too kind of curved but I think that is the way her forehead looks and again we can tweak it later on um, in our modeling process okay in the next video I'll maybe just try and do the side of the of the head um, just to fill out the space just here um, so you know it stops looking a little odd I guess <laughs> okay so move on to my next video